Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. So for this video, I really want to talk a little bit about 7.1.5 Arms Warrior and I do intend to make a guide, but this video right here is going to be going over some of the things that I think happened to Arms Warrior to put it in the state that it's in right now, which in my opinion is a very, very weakened state where it really takes away from the fun of the game for me in a lot of ways because I love Arms Warrior and I, I like the gameplay of it. I like the style, I like, I like the idea, but right now, due to a few of the changes that they've made to PvP in particular, and Arms Warriors in particular, really ended up feeling ineffective, um, and it just makes it rough. So I wanted to provide some feedback because I've done this sort of thing before, and I want to hear your opinions on it as well. So the first thing that happened for me is 7.1.5 changed our talents up, right? So we used to have, for PvP talents, we used to have Echo Slam and Shadow of the Colossus, which were huge damage increases for us. You know, 5% of somebody's health every Colossus Smash was a big deal. Um, and they changed that, and it became Storm of Destruction, Shadow of the Colossus, which works a little bit differently, and Sharpen Blade. So, in addition to that, we also were given Disarm and Duel, and Duel somehow still doesn't work, um, which is really annoying. <laughs> but it's a really cool talent if it worked, it just doesn't. Um, and we had Pain, Train, and War Banner, so basically what happened was, in 7.1, Warriors were, um, not insane damage dealers, but we, what we definitely, you know, what we, all we did was deal damage. And that we voiced that concern, we're like, we want to do more than just damage. And so what happened was, in 7.1.5, we got some utility changes, uh, which are cool, and I, I would be willing to trade, um, Echo Slam for, like, a shorter, or shorter cooldown, Sharpen Blade, and things like disarm and duel if it worked, um, that's cool. Like th this is defensive utility, this is offensive utility. This is a bit of a bit of a, um, a mix, and we'll talk about that in the arms guide too. But we were left in a position where we had utility, and our damage was was pretty okay. Like we we didn't we lost a big damage component from Echo Slam. Our damage wasn't OP by any means, especially compared to DK's, uh, <laughs> Demon Hunters, Boomkins, Locks, Shadow Priests, like everything. Like our damage was pretty good, but. You know, we weren't we weren't OP, but then we saw in one of the hot fixes, Arms Warrior Strength nerf uh, by five percent, uh, which was kind of strange. But it's like you know what, it's it's okay. They gave us more utility. We said we wanted to sacrifice some damage for this. It's no big deal. Um, even though we already lost damage from our talents, uh, we can take the five percent strength nerf and still be okay probably. So that's basically two damage nerfs that we got. Um, in and it's it wasn't like intentionally a trade we didn't say like let's trade disarm for uh for some for five percent strength nerf but that's kind of what ends up happening so we got some so there's two damage nerfs for some utility gain one of our utility one of our most important utility arguably dual doesn't work um anyway uh so what ends up happening after that is um damage is high in pvp for some classes um so what they do is they nerf all classes that aren't healers on their template, they nerf all of their main stats by 5%, so all of a sudden warriors go from not, de you know, we, we don't deal that much damage to having our talents taken away in 7.1, which is something we, we we're okay with, the 5% strength nerf, which was like, not really, doesn't really make sense, but whatever, you'll roll with it, and then another 5% strength nerf on top of that, so that's, ends up being about 20% less damage just on our abilities in PvP. My Mortal Strike went from hitting like 250k to 200k in PvP. Um, and that's not with armor and stuff. Like if you just normally smack somebody with a Mortal Strike in PvP, it's going to hit them for like 140k damage. If you have Colossus Smash Up, maybe then it hits for like 200k. 230k if you have cooldowns or something like that. Which really doesn't sound like a lot of damage compared to most classes. And Arms Warriors... Like, we're definitely not, we can do some AoE if you talent for it, like if you can do sweeping strikes and whatnot, and I've even been messing around with a rend if you guys have been seeing some of those videos, but the damage that you actually deal doesn't affect players <laughs> the same. Um, and Arena and BGs end up feeling a little bit differently. I think Arms Warriors are more well suited for Arena than BGs, but in BGs, you just feel completely useless. <laughs> and part of the reason for that is, not only did we have our our, t our 
basically our offense nerfed three times back to back in talents to strength and then strength again. Um, they buffed the stamina templates, and healers got basically like a buff because they didn't get nerfed in their main stat. So, tankier enemies, relatively stronger healers, and 20% damage loss on arms warriors means that you hit like a wet noodle. Uh, nothing around here is going to die unless you're basically in a bigger group than the enemy team. That's what BGs seem to be for me as, as a warrior now. Is it's like, am I in a bigger group than the people that I'm fighting? And oftentimes, no. I, I like to bring two healers, two DPS to my BG groups for, for viewer BGs, but that's to combat the fact that a lot of times the entire enemy horde team is going to attack me. And it's a lot of fun in the past where you can actually have like a good battle. Um, but now it's like, if you're, if you're outnumbered, I literally don't do damage to anybody and I can't kill anybody off of me. So eventually the horde ball just grows until it eventually consumes us. And that's a little bit frustrating. Um, because in the past, it's like, you know, if, if you're, if you're battling a couple different people and you have, you know, you play well and you have good gear and you've got a good team, then you can, you can, you know, battle your way through that because you deal enough damage. I would much rather be a little bit squishier and be able to dispatch my enemies and have everybody be unreasonably tanky and not do damage to anybody until you eventually just kind of start to fall over because there's that many people attacking you. It's just a frustrating way to play. <clears throat> and then in Arena, of course, like, you guys have seen videos of me posting recently. Somebody even commented on it. It's like, I'm, I'm going to burst this guy. And his health literally doesn't move at all. After, like, you know, 15 seconds of me wailing on him. It's just, and I'm like, well, I guess, I guess I'm just hitting something else then. So it's just a little bit frustrating from that perspective, too. Even though Arms Warriors, I feel like, are a little bit better suited for Arena due to our utility changes. Um, the damage stuff just is still a problem there. But th the issue for me is, like, if some classes are dealing too much damage in PvP, like DKs, Demon Hunters, Boomkins, Locks, Shadow Priests, things like that, Shamans, and, or Elemental Shamans, things that got nerfed in particular, you don't need to just blanket nerf every single DPS. Because what ends up happening, well, you make classes that aren't doing that good even worse. But then you also, while you're nerfing damage across the board, you also buff stamina. Like, I feel like the the balancing in Legion has looked like this the whole time. It's it's like dramatic over nerfs that overlap. And I don't know if it's going unnoticed, but things like the way they nerfed um, the Colossus Smash proc rate for Warriors, and they nerfed Echo Slam's effectiveness, like, at the same time, that's a huge change. And I don't know if that's something that's going unnoticed. So, blanket nerfing damage for everybody and blanket buffing stamina, like, I understand what they're trying to do, but it ends up changing the game in a huge way, maybe probably even a bigger effect than they realize, and it makes it less fun. At least for, I think a lot of PvP players would prefer a faster paced game. Maybe I'm wrong. Some people love to just kind of just wail on each other for like five minutes at a time, and like, you know, the whole BG, the, the top killing blows is like five killing blows, and it's just like a damage fiesta, and nobody really ever like dies in the PvP battleground situation like that i hate that kind of battleground you guys know me like i love high killing blow numbers and i'm uh, and running around as a warrior all, always has been for me i know that i'm defensively not as powerful but in the past warriors relied on their damage utility and their ability to outplay their opponents to do well in those situations and then if you added healers to the equation you became unstoppable but that's just not the case right now and it just makes me really sad but i think that for arms warriors in particular um the main things that happened were Warrior's damage got double nerfed, or triple nerfed if you want to bring the talents into the play. Uh, all PvP damage was nerfed and stamina was about at the same time, which makes stale BG gameplay. Uh, Arena, it could have it could have improved by that that change. I don't really necessarily feel like it though, because there are, there are different problems that kind of plague Arena as a whole. Like I know a lot of people complain about um, about like Spirit Link Shaman where. All, all damage was um, decreased, all stamina was increased, and then things like Spirit Link, Talent, Shaman make it so that nobody takes any damage on the team anyway, and it makes for a really slow, boring gameplay style. Um, and so, less damage overall isn't really the right play when only a couple of certain classes need to be nerfed. Um, and I think Arms Warriors really suffered from that. So, in terms of the way forward for Arms Warriors, I don't think it takes much, honestly. Like. We got a lot of what we wanted, like right from the beginning, like when the talents changed and our damage was still okay, but our, we got some utility talents. That was great. I mean, it would have been it would have been good to have dual work. Um, how many weeks have we been in 7.1.5, and apparently dual still isn't working? Um, 
that's a little frustrating, but like once we get our actual talents working, like the combination of Disarm, Duel, and Sharpen Blade, like I really like that. I like that better than just pressing Colossus Smash and knowing it's going to deal 5% uh, of somebody's health, you know, 1.5 seconds later. Like that's okay, I don't mind having that change out. I like I like the way our utility works right now, but it didn't need to be accompanied by a 20% damage reduction. Like that's not... 20% <laughs> um, damage reduction amidst relatively buffed healers and stamina increase like that just makes for really stale gameplay not only for arms warriors but for everybody i mean playing fury is the same thing i know fury does more damage than arms warriors in bgs and stuff but it's the same situation fury doesn't have a mortal strike you're just padding the meters cleaving everything but nobody's health bar is actually moving the whole time and you're just you're you're padding the meters on the scoreboard but not actually doing anything in the game and that's definitely not a gameplay style that i'd prefer so this is a little bit of commentary on arms warriors in particular but um uh, even more than that, just PvP in general. Those are the main things that I that I felt like I needed to address because other things that were on my mind is that the, the triple nerf on Arms Warrior, not necessary, not helpful, makes the game lame. The sweeping PvP damage nerfs in addition to the, the stamina buffs um, can create too big of a change at one time and make gameplay stale in BGs and Arena, especially when you're taking into consideration what is actually effective in Arena. Um, and then of course, you know, changing all classes when only a couple classes are actually the problem, um, especially like saying damage in arena is too high. It's not all classes are dealing too much damage, it's that certain classes are dealing too much damage. So tone them down and probably don't sweeping buff everybody's stamina while sweeping nerf everybody's damage. It's just a heavy handed, probably ineffective, likely to change the game in a negative way kind of way of making changes and definitely gotta look out for that in the future but I uh, just want to provide this feedback, didn't want to seem too salty, definitely, you know, I'm, I'm a warrior to my core warrior you know in my heart and you know arms warrior fury warrior that's what i want to play in wow and when it's not you know fun uh i probably can imagine that i'm not the only one feeling this way so i feel like it's probably an okay idea to put these ideas out there i'm sure there's going to be some um some disagreement and that's fine but you know put my views out there you know wanted to represent my warriors the best i can thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace